So um, on this example problem, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is it says that C, F, E, D is a trapezoid, all right? And B and Y are midpoints. So M, they say measure of angle F is 140 degrees. Measure of angle E is 125. And find the measure of angle D right here. OK? So there's a couple things that we need to note about this. One, it's a trapezoid. And remember, trapezoid, we have our bases are going to be parallel, right? Now also remember that using the mid-segment theorem, that if we have another line that's on the midpoints, that line has to be parallel as well, correct? OK, so by using our idea of parallel lines, remember when we have parallel lines in a transversal, what is created? Angle relationships, right? One thing I told you guys when we did uh, unit two with angle relationships or parallel lines, I said whenever you guys see parallel lines in a transversal, you know there is a relationship. Remember the relationships, alternate interior angles, corresponding angles, consecutive interior angles, alternate exterior angles, right? Those are all created with parallel lines in a transversal. So I know that these lines are parallel. And I also have a couple lines that cross them, which we call transversals, right? So if you see right here, here's the parallel lines, and then here's a transversal. So if this is 140, what else? I could also say that this is 140. And Zach, do you know why I can say that's 140? Do you know that angle relationship? Remember, consecutive is consecutive interior. So that means both of them would have to be right next to each other between the parallel lines. So these won't be consecutive interior, but they're in the same spot and same parallel lines. Yes, Ajay? Alternate. Well, alternate, remember, they have to be alternating on different sides of the transversal. So they're still on the same side of the transversal. They're just not both interior, Taylor? Corresponding, corresponding right? Very good. So he, these are corresponding. Then I can also say that over here, that's 1E25, because those are corresponding as well. Now remember, we're trying to figure out what this angle is. Okay, So the next thing I could look at, and there's a couple different ways to do this, is if this is 140, then I know that this angle, right? these two are what we call what Zach said, consecutive interior. right? And what do we know about consecutive interior, Mario? Consecutive interior, are they add equal to each other, add up to 180? Which one? Yeah. Are they supplementary or are they equal to each other? Supplementary. They're supplementary. So therefore, is it OK if I write an equation x plus 140 equals 180? Right? Subtract 140. Subtract 140. x equals 40. Can I do the same thing with over here, what I'm trying to figure out? Yeah, of course. 125 plus, I'll call this, uh, I'll call this measure of angle D. Bless you. Let's call this measure of angle C. So now I just solve. So measure of angle D equals 55. All right. Um, there's another way you guys could also um, do this. You could also, what do all these angles add up to? Well, what do all the angles in a triangle add up to? 180. What are all the angles in a quadrilateral? Yes, Blake? 360. So if you already figured this out to be 40, you could say 40 plus 140 plus 125 plus measure of angle D equals 360, and then solve for measure of angle D. That's just another way to do it. But I think this way is pretty simple, right? You didn't have to do this. You just had to do that to figure it out. OK? And that's how you do that problem. Help out, Damon? Help out, Damon? 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 Damon?